Dive stat and runner space here at the Sound Running Sunset Tour with Nikki Hiltz, uh, who uh, won first, won the 800, 159.42, and then they came back and finished third with a great closing kick in the in the 15, 404, 27. Tell us about you're, you're going to Paris for the 15. Um, so what was the goal here today? Why run the eight and the 15? And what were you looking for? Were you looking for times? You're looking to feel good coming out of training. What was the hope today? Uh, the goal today was just compete and get in a really good effort. Uh, the focus was the eight and then just see what I have in the 15. And you know, in Paris, it's gonna be a lot of rounds and the whole point of rounds is just pushing through it when it's uncomfortable. And you know, having the 159 in your legs definitely was uncomfortable that whole 1500. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, you you know, my race plan was just race the last 300 and get as many bodies as possible. So really happy to get third for sure. Yeah. Right. So you're happy with the way you closed in that, in that, in that 15. So is yeah. the 800, is it sort of like speed work then kind of, I guess? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's obviously not yeah. that much shorter than the 15, but it's still, totally. so do you, how do you know, do you just, do you know, how do you know when you got what you wanted to out of it? Like, t like yeah. you're not, I mean, time-wise isn't all of it, right? It's yeah. like, how you're running going forward, right? Or how you feel this next week, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was the last kind of. If you look at the schedule, it's like one of the last big workouts you could get in. Was, uh, but it was also a long time to go without racing. So it just made sense to, you know, kind of treat tonight tonight as like one of the last big workouts and, and do a double. And um, yeah, I mean, a ton of 15 runners, 100 runners are running really great 800s right now. So um, I wanted to be running one of them. And <laughs> unfortunately, I didn't really have a bunch of people to race. I found myself in the lead. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with like essentially a solo 159. I think that's great. And yeah, it, it obviously the trials proved that I'm fit. So tonight wasn't really about fitness. It was just about, you know, getting a solid effort in and, and racing bodies. So this is the last competition, obviously, before before Paris. Yeah. So what can you what do you think you can take from this uh, going forward? Um, yeah. In terms of what, what do you learn, I guess, about, you learn anything about yourself or? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've never, I've done that double before, but um, it's been a while. It's, you know, it's it's hard to push through when you when you feel like shit, essentially. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just learned that even if we go out super hard, like 59 or whatever it is, like I, I can still close. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just really confident right now. I'm just really excited for, yeah, to compete on the biggest stage in our sport. For something like this, where the 800 is, you know, Know, is, is, is a speed workout in preparation for the 15 you prefer to have the 800 first and obviously different yeah. meets that run different times sometimes you run the 15 can come first sometimes the 8 can come first so do you like and for this what you're looking for tonight was the eight better to have the eight first then totally yeah i mean a lot of times in workouts we'll start our workout with like a really fast 400 and then take like 10 minute break and then start the workout so it's it, i was kind of used to that like you start with just like you go lactic you know and then you kind of flush it out and so yeah i think tonight really mimicked that um i've actually never done the double the other way uh, i think i think it's harder to do the eight first uh, but that was the point the point was to like make tonight hard like if, i could have just come and done one event but like the point was to yeah get in two solid efforts right and like you're, you're gonna have to be running through several rounds right totally. and yeah. so how fast do you think you're gonna need to run or are you looking to run in paris um i'm just hoping to make the final and then the final you know what do you think it's gonna take to make the final i, I wouldn't be surprised if it's 355 you know I'm, I'm gonna be surprised if if the you know u.s trials final is what the semi looks like in in paris uh yeah everyone's just running so well that's just what the event is right now and um yeah, it really depends on what year you're in and, and how it plays out. But I, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I have to have PR to make the Olympic final. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Nikki. I appreciate yeah. the time and uh, best of luck in Paris. Thank you so much.